needs. Therefore, in our various programs that we have, whenever we are making provisions for education or preventing responding to different types of violence, gender-based violence, etc., or whether we are building capacity or, cap or making uh, our families uh, capacitated and economically resilient, or even if we are facilitating emergency medical food aid, we are always thinking about your good health. And this is why we are gathered today to distribute assistive, uh, assistive technology to orphans and vulnerable children with disabilities. And this has been necessitated through the support of USAID ID under the space program, which we all know about the space program. So let me just pause and express my profound gratitude to the various government line ministries, and some of them are represented here, uh, our Department of Social Development, uh, the Christian Blind Mission, the Organization for Persons with uh, Disabilities, who have walked this journey together with us. Now, we are mindful that the distribution of assistive technology to 17 children today is just a drop in the ocean. Because 15% of the global population consists of people with disabilities. So we are just targeting or we are just touching just a few out of the millions of people affected. This however does not in any way minimize the significance of what is being done today. We are here to witness real change in real people's lives. To the children and caregivers who are here, we celebrate together this new chapter in your lives and we will continue to support you in your journey to a healthy life and healthy community. Thank you so much, the attenders. The reason why we are here, various ministries, government, departments, agencies, MDA, in short, is because we do not want to leave anyone behind. And the whole is greater than the sum of its part. We can achieve more and more developmental dividends together. So basically, the, the, the space program, it's not an end in itself. It has a history. We started with the HIV prevention and the response programs that graduated into a child, the, the children Tariro project. And from the children Tariro project, we are now today talking about the space for OVC. This is now the hybrid and more enhanced, more effective way of responding. And as government, We've actually tapped ourselves into this program to contribute towards the national developmental trajectory of Vision 2030. And all this, what we are talking about, it's a significant contribution towards an upper middle income society. Where we have a society, children have access to social services, basic social services, and together, this access to assistive technologies is one of the key drivers of economic development and ensure one of the parameters that ensures that the government of Zimbabwe is not leaving anyone behind. Um, when we are saying health for all, we also mean um, people with disabilities. 
So what we are saying is, in as much as we might put effort and there is no accessibility of my services at Nengeti now um, for people uh, with disabilities, it means there are people who are being left behind. In as much as a child might be able, you might be able to carry a child now, but as they grow older, akura. You might as you can carry the child, but as time goes on, the child becomes heavy, and this can then stop access to to health. So, with the help of a wheelchair, you find that it is easy for someone to become very independent, and they can move on their own and do as as much as we also who we who think which we are able bodied can also do. Um, we also need um, assistive devices like spectacles, which we are also going to be giving today. I see there are so many people with spectacles, my assistive technologies. That's assistive technology, my Mary, that you, my Ngurumbo, that you have. You've got spectacles, so you do have a disability. Without your spectacles, it means that you will not be able to see, you will not be able to read and function well as everyone else. So you will need an assistive device. So, whilst we were working in the Space for OVC project, um, we were able to procure assistive devices for uh, children with disabilities that um, were within the project, and some of them are living with HIV. So, you will find that we've got this, um, our special wheelchair for children with CP, cerebral palsy. Um, our children, with time, they get heavy, and it is. And they also need to be independent. I don't think there's anyone who would like to be 24-7 holding a child in Mumaoko. It becomes heavy and burdensome. <coughs> Even for the child, it becomes uncomfortable. So you find these wheelchairs are specially made for our children. Uh, I think we wants to come with one. <laughs> um, they're specially made for our children. The child will be able to sit very well, properly, are free and well supported. So you can adjust um, the wheelchair according to the child's needs. Uh, she's bringing one, one over. Yes, the CP one. She has come with a CP wheelchair. I'm sorry. Um, I think we'll get a better view of the wheelchairs when we go outside and we see them. Um, and I would like you all to look at the children's faces when they get the wheelchairs. The parents themselves, when they put their children in the wheelchairs, we've been distributing some of these wheelchairs, and I tell you the joy on the children's faces and the feeling of being independent. <laughs> Wechipiri achawea, ndi maksu wechinditi, nembere kiwagi, kana kegi. Ndiri 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 ndi
nekunge aine uche kutindi shanga ndiri kurerukiri homu upenyu kuti yanga iri ngoya kandi omira kunge ndiku ngendiri kutakurana nemwana ne nema problems we ndi nawo pamweri wangu asi ndiku zwa kufara nezvaitika muswara mwana anonzani uya kurasei mwana anonzi natasha ngarati ane 14 years Thank you.